Good morning, guys. We're here on a service call Sunday morning, right after Thanksgiving, having no heat at a house I went to a few months ago, a uh, home advisor customer. So we're going to take a look at it, see what we can figure out, see what's going on. There's no display on the thermostat. It's a heat pump. So there's no low voltage power, or the fuse is blown, something along those lines. We're going to check it out. Got to do something very important first. No, thank you. I would like uh, two sausage biscuits, please. Would you like that in a combo? No, thanks. Thank you. Important. Hello, everybody. I am taking a look at a train heat pump here, and it's starting to rain, so we'll make this quick. Uh, we're going to put it into defrost and we're going to see that there is a problem with the defrost control board and see if we can identify what it is. Uh, not life or death problem, but still got to be taken care of. So the first thing I'm going to do is short out the pins between force defrost and test. All right, shuts off. Do the scroll compressor, the reversing valve changes over. It'll wait just a few seconds. That allows for no loud, horrible noise when shifting into defrost. It'll take a few seconds to equalize and then we'll see it go into defrost because right now it's the reversing valve is in the cooling position. And there's our problem. We're running in cooling mode, but our fan is on. That is not supposed to be occurring. In a moment, we'll hear it switch back into heating mode along with the loud, loud noise. So, any second now. Here we are. Scrollerific. So, there's an example of a train defrost board failure. Uh, obviously, if the van is running, we'll be melting ice nearly as quickly with a lower head pressure, and thus our defrost will be much more inefficient. So, I'll see you guys on the next one. There's just a short, quick look at a bad defrost control. Started with a couple friends 